be happy if we don't ask you about uh, well our rail system transportation you went around and I, I don't think you you went by rail to some of these uh, places tell us what are you doing what's the government doing in terms of rail uh, system well in terms of rail system you remember that 20 years before president Gulo Janata came to power the rail had broken down completely there was no movement between any part of this country now the president is since the days of uh, the late president Eradua, the, there was a decision to restore the railway as the only condition for a mass transit in the nation so a lot of work has been done and i can tell you this one government priority is to restore the existing rail lines we have succeeded already in restoring the rail line from lagos to Kano. rail is moving smoothly every week and even private companies are offering to buy coaches to carry their goods from Lagos to the north. This is very, very important. The second one is the major line between the south-south, north, uh, southeast, uh, north central, and northeast, which is the Port Harcourt, Enugu, Makodi, Lafia, Joss, uh, Meduguri line. Work is going on, and last week I checked again the Minister of Transport. It will be completed by the grace of God by December, and the, rails will, the trains will move again. Now, but there are other standard gate train lines that we're building. The train line, for example, between uh, Wari and Ajakuta has been completed. It says the first standard gate rail line in West Africa. When we went to the tour in Delta, we rode on the tracks. It was built by Julius Baja, very standard. Now, we are building other standard uh, uh, gate lines between Abuja and, uh, and Kaduna. We are almost 50% complete. Work is going on. Nobody is reporting it on the pages of newspapers. The standard gate between Abuja and Kaduna is 50% complete. Now, we are building the one. They are mobilizing to site now between Lagos and Ibadan. That one will be double track. It's being built by the Chinese. So they, they, the standard lines are going on. We have given contract for feasibility studies to build standard uh, gauge lines between uh, uh, the, the, Lego, south, the south south line will move from Lagos to Benin up to Wari, moving up to Calabar. We are designing another line that will take off uh, from uh, Shogbo and move through Abuja, uh, through Ajakuta, and it will be moving right down to Abuja. So we are planning the standard gauge lines, and these are going to be done by private sector partnership with government. So a lot of work is being done. And uh, in terms of the um, uh, sea transportation, we, have, we are delivering the onyx port uh, phase four in Port Harcourt will be delivered by August. We went there. A lot of work has been done. About 9,000 hectares of land have been recovered. Uh, and people could not believe what we saw. So a lot of jobs have been done. But uh, like I said, we are in a very partisan society. And what people want to see is that the president is not working. It is not true. Mr. Marco, this government is working come in here, and will be know, appreciated. We've seen, yes. we've seen this railway lines. I mean, we can, we can even see the visuals here, and I'm sure that a host of viewers to have already seen it. But, you know, the question will be, you've said that the Lagos to uh, Kano is already working, is in, is in progress, for instance, and it is, it's, it's taking off. The question is, how long does it take, for instance, to travel from Lagos to Kano? What kind of coaches do we have on these lines? Uh, what is the, are we hoping to invite the private sector into it, or is this just going to be a government-run thing? And how efficient is it? Because you know very well that our roads are terribly overstressed, and if we can get most of the goods that come in via trailers to be on the railway lines, we, we, our roads will definitely be better for it. Well, absolutely. Uh, some of the details you can get from the MD of Nigeria Railway Corporation. And that is the point I'm challenging. We started this thing in December. We've not seen channels go to follow it up, maybe invite the MD of Nigeria Railway Corporation to discuss the details of the operations. We even go to a door park and see the movement by rail within Lagos uh, and say, well, this is what we see. We're discussing with passengers. I have rode on the train I myself think that that's with not passengers. Very correct, uh, Mr. Now, Mapu. now. Mr. Marco, sorry to Listen cut to you. Me. I think that that is not correct. When the railway line started work from Edo, Channel's television was there. So if you did not see thank it, you. it did not mean that Channel's television <laughs> did not go there. Well, thank Just you. Thank you. I, I concede that to you. I concede that to you. Now, the, 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 present, the present movement is still based on the old race system. It is slow, but it is steady. And uh, we have just placed order to get new coaches. What we have been using are the old coaches that have been rehabilitated 
by the engineers of the Nigerian uh, Railway Corporation. But we have placed orders for new coaches. Private people are also placing orders for new coaches for those rails to make them more comfortable. But at the moment, we are moving cement, we are moving goods from Lagos to the north by rail, and we are also moving people. We will increase the frequency as more coaches come, but the line is now fully operational, fully rehabilitated, and the Lagos and the Meduguri Port Harcourt line will be fully rehabilitated by December. And that will be a lot of progress. Good. If we now, the let's, roads, let's also go, let's country, go to quickly go, because we run out of time, let's quickly yeah. go to the state of the roads. I mean, we saw what happened with the Lagos Ibadan Expressway. We saw that the contract was taken, the contract was it cancelled, uh, from, from, taken away from by Courtney. And we were told that Julius Berger was going to move in immediately. What exactly is happening to that particular, is it order or contract? Well, well, uh, uh, well, I think we, are, we, have, uh, we, are, we have moved. We are moving in onto Lagos about an expressway. We have talked about that, and uh, there is a lot of intervention now coming from Shopee. What the president has decided was to devote more of the Shopee funds to roads. So several of the key artery roads that have been in bad condition are now receiving additional funding. That's why you are seeing Benin already virtually concluded now. If you ride from Benin to Ore now, you will see from the other end. That you have one of the greatest, best roads built in the country presently. Are you saying the, the East West Road is still moving to site on the Lagos Ibadan Express Road? Yeah, well, I can tell you, I can tell you that there's been a lot of intervention, and the federal government took it away because it was supposed to be PPP, but uh, by Courtney did not perform, and that was why we took it over. It was a, a high revenue generating road that we thought we can start with the PPP, but it's a new initiative. So there are several issues involved. And that's why the federal government, instead of allowing people to continue to suffer on that road, uh, decided to take over. And I, I, I believe, I'll check it out, I believe either they have moved in or they should be moving in on that road because the federal government is committed to ensuring that that road, which is a major artery road, is rehabilitated. Uh, uh, Mr. Marco, uh, it doesn't mean that, uh, well, when we say this, we're saying it because, uh, well, that is the truth. Uh, well, coming for this particular interview, you came pretty early and you... You made it so easy to come on this program. But why is it so difficult for others in the cabinet to appear on programs? When you talk about people not talking about what is happening, there are so many ministers who wouldn't want to come on programs and will have evidence or evidences to show that they've been invited and they never turned up. Uh, well, I, I, I can say that... Uh, uh, let me thank you, Suleiman. Uh, let me thank you, Suleiman, because actually... Uh, all ministers are spokespersons of their ministries and can explain a lot of the things they are doing to the media. Uh, I wouldn't know the circumstances under which some of my colleagues may have turned down the invitation to speak to you. I don't have the records. Maybe they are caught up with other activities and they are not able to come at that time. But I think that for every minister is an opportunity to explain. And we are doing well. So it's no reason for any minister to be afraid. In transportation, we are doing well. In, uh, in aviation... We are doing well. Look at all the airports that have been renewed completely uh, in the last one year. Uh, in, uh, in agriculture, uh, we are doing well. Uh, we are in, in power, look, 10 new power projects about to be completed in this country is a record that no government in the past has ever done. So I, I think, generally speaking, we have a lot of things we should be proud of and speak to the nation. So uh, I will take up the challenge. If you give me the names of my colleagues, maybe use me as the contact and minister of information. Any minister you want to speak to and you can't reach, please approach me. I'll be able to take them to you uh, to speak to you. Well, we'll do that. Well, one thing that at least happened yeah, uh, on that good governor's tour, you know, you, you spoke about a quiet bomb state, but it, was, it went viral when it was published how the governor of a quiet bomb state was talking about the 2007 PDP senatorial primary election. And it was for while you were there, and he said, I used my own hand to strike out the name of the person who has won before, and I said it's important for me to give that region a senator in 2007, and I proceed, I produced Senator Aloysius Etuk for you, and this was all over the place, and thanks to good governance to all Nigerians who not have heard this. What happened? How did this, what do you think about but, this? Uh, let me say this, you know, the, the governor of Akwebom State is one of the best governors in this nation in terms of performance, in terms of delivery. And uh, when we went to Akwebom, we saw the flyovers. It was like you are driving through some sections of London. If you go to Yo today, you must give that governor uh, the kudos for what he has done to transform a very rural state like Akwebom into one of the standard bearers today in terms of infrastructure. 
Uh, look at his underground drainage system in Akwebom. It's the first of his type we have seen in this country. We went through it and we saw what he was